the beginning of this week's Torah portion, God tells Moses, Moshe, to go appear before Pharaoh, Paro, to issue a warning about the next upcoming plague. Why? Because God has hardened Paro's heart. Now, that's curious. That sounds like a reason for Moshe not to go. Why should Moshe waste his time warning Paro again if we know Paro is not going to listen because God has hardened his heart? One of the commentators has a novel explanation. Every time we perform a commandment, we are acting on God's behalf as his agent, his messenger, his shaliach. And there's a concept that shlucho shal adam kamoso, the messenger of a person is like him, which means if you perform an act on someone else's behalf, it's as if that person performed the act. So if you're acting as God's shaliach, as God's messenger, it's as if he performed the act, which means that when you're involved in doing a mitzvah, you are awfully powerful acting as God's messenger. One of those commandments is the commandment to repent, to do teshuva. If you accept that commandment, agree to become a messenger, there's nothing that stops you. No matter how bad you've been, how far you've strayed, and no matter for how long, you will be able to return. So God's telling Moshe, go to Paro. Go warn him again because I hardened his heart. I want to reset the clock. When you give him that new warning, it's a new opportunity. If he says yes, if he agrees to repent, to be my messenger, nothing stops him. He'll be able to come back even though I hardened his heart. So it's not just a warning to Paro. It's a message that God's screaming to us lovingly through the words of the Torah. He's telling us it's never too late to come back. Every single day, each one of us has a Bo El Paro moment, a come to Pharaoh moment. Why? Because every day the commandments get renewed. God says in the first paragraph of the Shema, hayom. These are the things that I commanded you today, today, not just thousands of years ago when Moshe was up on the mountain. The commandments get renewed, each of them, including the commandment to repent. So no matter how far you've strayed and no matter how long it's been, you agree to come back and you will be able to. Nothing will stop you from returning.